We all are going to age, but it doesn't mean we can't look good as we get older. Skin care expert Dr. Mark Sorelli shares some new treatments that may help to turn back the hands of time. Our skin doesn't really age per se. It simply weathers or damages over time. Did you know that up to 80% of the damage on a person's face is caused by the sun? How you look over time really depends on your natural skin color, your history of ultraviolet light exposure, whether it's natural in the form of outdoor sunbathing or artificial in the form of tanning salon use. Most of your sun damage is collected in the first 18 to 25 years of your life. So it is essential to start early to practice sun smart behaviors and really follow a comprehensive sun protection program to reduce damage and early signs of premature skin aging. So what are the common signs of aging skin? Years of ultraviolet light exposure, whether natural in the form of sunbathing or artificial tanning salon exposure, causes premature skin aging in the form of brown spots, fine lines and wrinkles, skin roughness, sagging, Age spots are these flat brown areas of this skin discoloration called lentigines, and they're also known as liver spots and wisdom spots. They're actually caused by chronic sun damage and usually appear on the face, exposed areas on the chest, upper back and shoulders, forearms, and even the backs of the hands. People with a genetic predisposition to age spots are typically those who are fair skinned and burn easily, these are people who really should avoid excessive sun exposure. The good news is, is that there are many topical treatments now available to improve your aging or sun damaged skin. Tretinoin, which is also known as Retin-A, is a vitamin A derivative which has been really shown to lighten brown spots, reduce skin roughness, and even soften fine lines and wrinkles that are associated with chronic sun-related skin damage. Tretinoin is the only topical anti-aging medication that's actually approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration for these indications. Topical and prescription grade lightening agents that contain hydroquinone can also improve blotchy skin pigmentation. Some of the newer over-the-counter products containing moisturizing agents, antioxidants such as vitamin C, vitamin E, alpha hydroxy acids, and retinols may temporarily improve the appearance of lines and wrinkles. There are cosmetic skin treatments that should be only be performed by a qualified physician who is experiencing skin care. It's important to know that cosmetic procedures are real medical procedures and include chemical peels, wrinkle fillers, microdermabrasion, laser skin rejuvenation, and even Botox injections. All of these procedures are helpful in reducing signs of skin aging and smoothing the skin's surface, lightening blotchy pigmentation, reducing wrinkles, furrows, hollows in the face, and in the case of Botox, temporarily paralyzing facial muscles to soften the crow's feet around the eyes, the frown lines, and other wrinkles. You should see your dermatologist for successful diagnosis and treatment of aging skin, or pick up your tablet and click the link www.dermatologistoncall.com to begin an online consultation for aging skin and treatment. You too can have healthier and smoother skin and more radiant skin. Well, as someone in that aging demographic, I'm afraid this really got my attention. And luckily, I'm here with Dr. Mark Cirelli. Mark, you know, we're all concerned about aging and especially you know, certain groups. What can we really do? You talked about Retin-A and a few other things. What's the best treatment? Is there any one good treatment for somebody? There isn't any one good treatment. There are a number of things that one can do to really reduce damage. And that's really what we're talking about when we talk about aging skin. We're really talking about weathered or sun damaged skin. So it, it always starts with sun smart behaviors, using a sunscreen, uh, wearing protective clothing, wearing a wide brimmed hat. We, there's a lot of things that we can do medically too. And clearly Retin-A is probably the best topical therapy available that helps improve sun related skin damage, correct lines and wrinkles, lighten dark spots, 
and really allow the skin to be less likely to get as many potential skin cancers over time than not using a product like Retin-A. And it, but again, it always starts with behaviors and trying to reduce further damage. Okay, I, I'm an old guy. Uh, when I was younger, my parents didn't really think much about the sun, didn't know any better. Are there treatments for people, say 50, 55 and older, that could really help uh, maybe keep me from be looking so old? Well, absolutely. You don't look very old, by the way. <laughs> but absolutely. And we do things like using topical lightening agents. You know, a lighter complexion is a more youthful complexion. We also do things like chemical peels, where we take off the top layers of the skin, allow the skin to regenerate, and that also helps to build collagen and soften wrinkles as well. And, and lastly, there are, there are a number of different new type of cosmeceuticals, topical vitamin products like vitamin C and coffee berry extract, which help improve sun damage and allow for more healthy, vibrant complexion. Obvious question is, how useful is Botox? Because you hear a lot about that. Is this really a last stage treatment or is this something that people go to, rush to more often? Well, Botox is safe. And as you know, it's regularly and commonly used for softening lines and wrinkles. And these are really lines that develop because of one's expressions. It involves having an injection done by either a board certified dermatologist or a plastic surgeon. Something that you're something that you might find very interesting. There's a company now in phase three development that has a topical Botox gel. So in perhaps in the future, we won't even need to be able to do injections to be able to soften lines and wrinkles. Oh, I like that already. How about one one final question is uh, obviously people are probably out there looking, what's the cost of a lot of these treatments? Is it very expensive? Well, topical lightening agents that contain hydroquinone and topical Retin-A aren't very expensive. You're looking at anywhere between 50 and perhaps $70, $100 a tube. Chemical peels can range anywhere from 95 to $125 and typically are repeated every three to four months. But some of the other cosmetic techniques that we use like laser resurfacing uh, some of the deeper chemical peels, injectable Botox, they tend to be at the higher end of expense. Mark, thanks very much. You're welcome. Wonderful information. If you like more information, visit www.dermatologistoncall.com. Or while you wait, pick up one of the tablets. Touch the Dermatologist on Call button, and you can learn more right now.